be Monday or Tuesday for you. It's actually Saturday for me. I'm filming a weekend in the loft, just a weekend vlog, because I've got a lot of projects I want to do. I want to do a lot of organizing. Um, so I'm going to show you guys like behind the scenes of those videos, because those videos will be videos in themselves. Hi, my name is Marina. How are you? <laughs> those videos will be videos in itself, like getting my kitchen organized, getting my porch done. Um, but I want to show you behind the scenes. The behind the scenes is I've budgeted out for how much I can spend on my porch this week and I've budgeted how much I can spend on my organization stuff that I need for my organization video. Organization video. Did you hear that Shane? That was weird. Organization video. So so I budgeted that out and then I wrote down a list of things I'll need to go find for my porch. And I don't really know what to get for the organization stuff. Um, I should have like watched some videos to get some ideas because I'm a very, very bad organizer. I, I don't mind cleaning. I really don't like cleaning, but I prefer cleaning over organizing because my mind is just so scattered. Um, with ADHD and OCD both like medically diagnosed, like that, it, it's really hard. There's a line there. And y'all know if there's a line, I always say if there's a line, I'm gonna ride it, I ride that line. So, I, I don't really know what to get as far as, I'm hoping it just comes to me when I get to the store. <laughs> it never works out that way, but I'm hoping it just comes to me when I get to the store and I know what to get. And then for the porch, I decided not to stain the whole entire thing because I don't have a pressure washer. I can't afford a pressure washer, not within my porch budget for this weekend. And I don't have a water hose connection, believe it or not. Everybody else in the trailer park has daggone water hose. I don't because I don't know, I don't know how to install a water hose. Are you, I don't. Do you have to be educated to do that? I mean, like, do you have to have a degree? I don't know. I feel like that was a stupid question. But really, do you have to have a degree to, I don't know, in water management? I don't know. Anyways, I got to get stained for the bottom part of the porch because I'm staining the bottom part. I've got to get white paint for the outer side because I'm going to do the railings in white. And then I'm going to get railing toppers. That's what I call them. I don't know what they're actually called. But it's like little toppers you put on to make it look fancy. I've got to get... Uh, white exterior paint. I've got to get wood for my raised flower bed that's going underneath my window. Um, I got to get decor pillows, a wreath, a barn star, which by the way, let me just say, if you've never googled what a barn star means, don't. A bunch of my subscribers were like, do you know what a barn star means, Marina? And I'm like, no. So I googled it. Apparently, it means you can be a swinger. So I'm getting it because I like it. I like the decor, but the first knock on my door is coming down. <laughs> we don't swing up here. We don't just the swinging, swinging. Yeah, they were swinging. So I've got to get a barn star. I don't know where to get one of those. I asked over on Instagram, and everybody was like, uh, Tractor Supply, which we have those all on every corner in Tennessee. Um, Rural King, we have one of those around us. Um, we're basically doing a perimeter. The kids are going to Nanny's today to swim. So they're going to be at Nanny's, and Shane and I are just going to go around and try to find. We're really on the journey to find a barn star. <laughs> So hopefully I can find one of those. Maybe Hobby Lobby. My mom said Hobby Lobby, so I'm gonna check Hobby Lobby. And then I gotta get a couple of roller brushes and some paint pans. And probably some paint tape, but I forgot to add that on here. So I'm gonna just bring y'all along with me. Cause we're gonna do all the things this weekend. Also gotta oh wait. So this is our this is what we're doing right now. So we're leaving here going to get breakfast at noon. So I guess we're going to get brunch. Who's brunch. filling chicken sandwiches for breakfast? <laughs> we're going to get that and then we got to go make our car payment and then we got to go over to Walmart to do our grocery pickup. We are coming back to the house, Shane, because we got groceries. Dang it, we didn't plan on coming back to the house. We were just going to ride around in the with the groceries in the back of the truck all day. Yeah, I reckon we were. Okay, we got to go pick up our groceries. Nanny's meeting us there at Walmart to pick up the kids. And then we're going to bring the groceries home, unload them real quick, and then head out. Shane wants to go to a used bookstore really badly. Because. So I reckon we're going to a used bookstore. But it's you have to promise me. Paradise. You have to promise me that we will find the barn star. There's plenty of places in Oxford. What about the brown squirrel? No, brown. Why, the brown squirrel wouldn't have a barn star. Would they not? No. Why not? They have reconners. All right, we got to go. Let's go. Is we finally getting out of here? Wait, let me do a montage. Hold on. Yeah, montage. Montage. I'm trying to get to it. Montage. montage. Sitting here waiting for Marina. Come on, get in the car. Come on. Come on, Thelma. Get in. 
<laughs> Shane says we should be on America's Got Talent because we just harmonized the far out of a Beach Boy song. The far. The far. The far. You want to do it? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Right home. When some loud bragger tries to put me down and says it's cool and I tell him right away, now what's a buddy having you ever heard of my school? It's number one in the state. So be true to your school. Nah, nah, true to your school. Like you and who you go. Nah, nah. America's Got Talent, here we come! Yeah, season whatever. <laughs> that was like 52. <laughs>
and some fudge strike cookies. I got some chocolate chip mini muffins, just in case they want that for breakfast. I got my normal um, Oak Run Farm Bakery Belgian waffles, but they give me the chocolate chip ones. I do not like the chocolate chip ones. I asked for the regular ones, but they were substituted. I tried the chocolate chip ones for the first time last week, or the week before last, and I, I didn't like them. They're not as good. The original ones, oh my gosh, they're my favorite. Then I got two packs of this Jello mix, the pudding mix, and the white, and the white chocolate. That's for that recipe over there. And then I got two loaves of bread. This one is the Italian style. It's the garlic herb topped bread. And this one, I ordered two Italian styles, but they only had one, so they substituted this one with French bread. So we will use this as a side. And then I'll split this one down the middle because we're having subs one night. I'll show you guys the meal plan in a minute. Two loaves of bread. We didn't get the artisan oat bread this week. Um, got some melt and dip. <laughs> the off-brand Velveeta. I got some milk chocolate chips. Some taco seasoning. Some Worcestershire sour sauce. I got banana peppers. I got the great value, but they didn't have them, so they substituted with this kind. You got some uh, Jet Puff marshmallow cream. Some marinara some prego sauce because you know we're prego all the way some salsa thick and chunky <laughs> like me <laughs> um, i got some honey we haven't had yeah we haven't had honey in a while and colton loves honey so i got this for our cheerios we like it in our cheerios with bananas um and then honey uh toast we we put it on toast and put cinnamon powder on it um, veggie rotini, spaghetti, a pack of chicken, a pack of frozen grilled fajita chicken, a thing of chicken nuggets, yeah. look at this, <laughs> tower of freezer stuff, Shane's two pack hot pockets, <laughs> so I got two things of our favorite breadsticks, we love these breadsticks, I got a thing of chocolate chip waffles, a thing of buttermilk waffles, one supreme pizza i'm the only one who eats supreme pizza the rest of these the two are rising crust pepperoni for everybody else i'll this i'll cook it and i'll have a couple pieces for dinner and then a couple of days of lunch will be out of this for me that's the first load let me get this put away and we'll do the second load <laughs> my thing wasn't even focused dang it i wonder how long it was like that two things of pull-ups a thing of I think of microfiber cleaning towels. And second load, we got chocolate milk, a half a gallon of regular milk, two things of Rice Krispies, one things of one things of Honey Nut O's. <laughs> we got three pack of wipes, a variety pack. We can afford the fun pack. Shane, is that Shane always says when we get this, he's like, we can afford the fun pack. <laughs> The pulling down my reference. <laughs> we got the other fun pack, the granted is great value <laughs> variety pack, and then we got some angel soft and ideal balance of softness and strength. We got paper towels. I don't know. We got um, oh, the, the Charmin one. I think my honey's clean. I know it's really clean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, we got the Sterilite bowl thing. It's got like a big bowl. I got this to make that um, fruit thing that I saw off TikTok. Sour cream. Pepper jack cheese. Hot mustard. Spicy, spicy brown mustard. Some of uh, this Parmesan and Romana. You got a thing of hamburger meat. I need to clean out my stove. I've said that for like three weeks. Some original pepperoni. Some mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, some shredded lettuce, some Caesar salad mix. This is my and Shane's favorite salad. I think I say that every other week. Shane, I got him hooked on the Clawson pickles. Shane loves them. Um, I got some cherries. This is, no, this is grape. <laughs> the grapes and cherries, right? Cherry, is that cherries? Yeah, so I got cherries and I got grapes and then a thing of turkey and a cantaloupe. I got way more produce 
than I usually get. But my kids have been on a, but well, actually the kids and Shane have been on a banana cantaloupe apple kick. We only have a couple apples left. I probably should have got some more. Is it gala or gala apples? They love those. I love the, I think it's pink lady. Pink Lady Apples. I've only had them a few times. They're super expensive. They're like two bucks an apple or something like that. But I love them. Y'all, but I'm working up a sweat. Look at this. It is hot in Tennessee. budget oh hey what's up <laughs> so Shane made out like a bandit but he also the kids also made out like a bandit we didn't spend it we spent seven dollars in there the rest of it was off of trade credit because Shane took a bunch of his what is it books books manga manga yeah manga manga books he took a bunch of them and traded them for store credits and he got him like a bunch of like cool stuff and Colton got a ton of action figures. Um, the girls got DS games. Cammy got his Cammy's favorite. Cammy loves Archie, like the Archie comics, the old school Archie comics. That what they used to be in newspapers. They started out in newspapers. We got him a thick one. Anyway, so now we are headed off to the nearest Hobby Lobby, which is like eight minutes away, to see if they got a Barn Star. Fingers crossed, they got a Barn Star. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You're not gonna make one. Hey, Shane keeps that saying, off their building. "No, Shane, the star. star, Hardy, the Hardy Star. That's Trailer Park right there. Yeah, <laughs> when you steal boy. the Hardy Star and put it on the side yeah. of your house. Oh, a place like uh, Kirkland or anything. Right? I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna find one, but I'm I mean, hoping not, Hobby Lobby has pay one. For it at, but. at this point, like, I'm willing to just put my whole porch budget I'm to a to sell one. Banks for one. No. Okay, we're pulling in. Good sign is it's beside a Trader Joe's, so we know it's hot flu. Okay, so I feel like a tater bull, and oh my gosh, it's so hot. I'm a bolt tater. A bolt tater? Mm hmm. You know how all the girls these days, if they like think their body isn't perfect, they say, I'm a potato. But are you a bolt tater? <laughs> Can you tell by my mood I didn't find one? Well, I got a planter, a wall planter. And I got fake flowers because y'all know I can't keep nothing alive. I ain't got a th green thumb. All the women in my family it's have a green a thumb. All the women in my family have a green thumb except for me. I don't understand. My mammy, oh my gosh, she can keep anything alive. I look at it and it dies. So, I got a planter. It's a black planter. Um, I don't think it's an external planter. It might very well be, but we're going to make it an external planter. And then I'm going to put it there. I'm settling. But I may put it there. And if I don't, if I'm not crazy about it there, then order a star. And then just show you guys when the star comes in at this point. Otherwise, y'all are never going to get a Porsche makeover. So I told Shane that we should eat Chick fil A for dinner. And he's like, <laughs> he said, I think my heart can't handle that because he's been eating a lot of fast food out on the truck. And I was like, you know what? We have a Trader Joe's right here. And he said, yeah, let me just grab a tomato for on the go. On the go. And I'm like, a later mater. <laughs> That's what they should do. They should give maters. They should put maters in baggies and call them later maters for on the go. <laughs> I'm going to copy that right now. Oh, God. What? Like. Trademark fearfully created. Fearfully created trademarks Later that. Matters. So you cannot steal it. I'm gonna make me I'm gonna take it to Shark Tank. <laughs> Later make it. <laughs> a spending portfolio. No, I just had this idea. I just had this idea when I was passing Trader Joe's and I couldn't afford to go in, so I just thought, you know what? We should Do make you a have later the tomatoes? Mater. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the tomatoes, Marina? I can go to Walmart. No. <laughs> Do you Do you have a patent pending? No. Nope. <laughs> What do you have? An idea. <laughs> oh man. That really is a great idea though. If you're wanting to be healthy, a later mater. <laughs> Shane just saw a good one. You could have a microwavable curry and call it hurry curry. <laughs> Fast bass. 
whole series of different vegetables. Yeah. And it can all be called quick picks. Quick picks, that's genius. It's like you pick them out of the garden. Okay, so Rainy's wanting to touch a tree. Do it, Rainy. Happy Earth Day. Weirdo. We're sitting at Whole Foods because we're in Bel Air territory. And you got a Trader Joe's on one end, a Whole Foods on the other end. Well, here we are at Cookout. And we got Cookout. Because neither one of YOLO! Us, neither one of us was feeling Chick fil A. My Cookout order is always what? Tell them. Barbecue sandwich with extra slaw coming with white cheddar cheese bites and a fry. With a huge sweet tea. And Shane's is always a double burger. No Everything mayo. On it, no mayo. And double fries. Double fries. And a huge dark pepper. So we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go to Walmart. Oh! I'm not really hunting. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> so. So I'm not really hungry right now. <gasps> this is dog. I'm not really hungry right now. So I just kind of went to eat because Shane wanted to eat. I'm silencing every bit of what you just said. You <laughs> I am eating these though. These are my most favorite candy ever. They're the old school, old fashioned lemon sanded drops. My papa used to get these. These are the bomb. So, it's a long time no see. We just got out of Walmart. It is dark now. It is 9.20. We are dog tired. But, we're here in East Knoxville. And East Knoxville is where I came all the time as a kid with my nanny and papa who raised me. They always brought me to this East Knoxville Toys R Us and the East Town Mall. And the East Town Mall doesn't exist anymore. It's, it's not. There's no stores in it. They shut it down. Um... And the Toys R Us has been shut down. Got to the other side of town. Yeah, all the business got softened to the other side of town because they have a bigger mall in the west. So um, it looks like they're about to what? They're caving in. They're tearing it down. Something. So I want to vlog this and show you guys um, so that I can look back on it later and see it while it's still semi up, even if it is in the dark. You kind of can't see nothing. <laughs> right. We're getting kidnapped tonight. No, in Jesus' name. There's also a Sam's Club over here. Y'all ask me why I don't shop at Sam's Club? It's because it's like 45 minutes to an hour away. And don't you have to have like a membership? Ain't it like Mason's or something like that? Like something like the Mason's? No. I mean, like there you have to have, a, have membership. You have to have a membership. But it's... Like uh, it's exclusive or something? No. Buy your membership card. Oh, I don't think you're going to be able to see. It is really dark. See? Yeah, they've got it blocked off anyway. Oh, they got it right blocked there. off. Look, y'all. It's over there. You can see. This to... was my childhood right see, here. There used to be a lot more. There used to be that, so much more. All that down. And there used to be a just for feet right across from uh, the mall. And it had a basketball like area that you could play basketball in. And every year, Nanny would take me there to get school shoes. Man. It's all abandoned. Gotta get out a little bit further. We can see some more of it. Ran stop sign. It's non existent pretty much. Um, but back in the day, man, in the 90s, this place was bomb. Oh, look, there's an Ollie's. Good stuff, cheap. Um, back in the 90s, this place was bumping see those lots up there those lots up there we we used to bring my papa and my mama my nanny's mom um she's the one that i told y'all she's a spitfire we used to all come and we <laughs> we would sit there waiting on nanny and mama to get out of sears and it would literally take them forever to get out of sears so my papa would tell my mamma that her husband, my papa Charlie, was cheating on her with somebody, <laughs> somebody up in the apartment up there, and it would get her so spit and mad she'd go home and almost beat my papa. Even almost beat the tar out of him. 
Well, Mamaw is the one who went to see Shrek with me when Shrek was in theaters. We came over here to East Hill Mall. And uh, my nanny didn't go in movie theaters. She's Shane, you want to hit? How many curves are you going to hit? Eight. <laughs> my nanny two. doesn't go in movie school. theaters. She's old school Pentecostal. They don't believe in going to the movies. Um, but so my mama, her mom, she was more lax and she, she went in with me and she thought that the donkey in Shrek was an actual talking donkey. She couldn't understand how they got the donkey to talk because she had never seen com computer animation. They didn't watch a lot of TV and any TV that they did watch, it was like old school westerns like Gunsmoke and stuff like that. So she could not get over the donkey talking. She came out and told Nanny, Nanny sat in the car for the whole two hours. Um, she came out and told her, there was a talking donkey. And Manny looked at me like, what in the world? They were so gullible. That's what it looks like. It's, it is so, it is so bittersweet. It really is. But that sky though, it's gorgeous. Let me show you with the window rolled down. Look at that. Up there, the lights, those are the apartments. It had an upstairs and downstairs. Yeah, it had an up, down, upstairs and downstairs. And you could see down from up. You could see downstairs from upstairs. And it was a one of a kind mall. And it's really sad that it's gone. All right, we're headed home. Woo, y'all. So it is Monday. Yesterday, I spent the whole day trying to work in between raining spurts to get my porch makeover done. I got half of it done. If I sound like <laughs> Kermit, <laughs> Kermit the Frog, oh, why I do that? <laughs> it's because I'm sicker than a dog. I have a fever. I had chills all last night. Shane left at one o'clock to go to work. Took some time on PM to try to get rid of the fever. And it did for a little bit, but when I woke up, oh my gosh, like I had like this deep chest cough. And it's like, bad y'all like if you've been here long enough to remember back in october um last year we had covid and i worked all through covid like i i uploaded i filmed edited and uploaded four videos a week while absolutely sick with covid like it hit me the hardest out of all of our house so to say that it took everything i had to get up this time over whatever this is like it took way more for me to get up than it did with COVID um and I don't know if maybe I don't know if maybe my um, body's just tired from COVID maybe it's just you know still like trying to recuperate even though it's been like I don't know like six months or something like that um seven months something like that it's been a while whatever it is the home life the mama life uh it don't stop when you're sick you don't get sick days so I've got to make um, I haven't, I tried to eat something for breakfast and it just felt like knobs going down in my throat. So, um, I'm going to make this recipe I saw on TikTok. It, if I'm yelling, it's because I can't hear either. My ears are so stopped up. Uh, I'm going to make this recipe I saw on TikTok. It, it looks so good. It looks so different. Um, so I'm going to make me a little bowl of that. And it's cutting up a bunch of, it's cutting up a ton of different fruit and then putting a jello pack over it and putting it in the fridge for a little bit for it to like crystallize. Oh! Can I hear y'all? Can I hear y'all? Like, y'all gonna say something back? <laughs> I, I watched it on TikTok and like you put jello package on it, it's like pudding package. I'm sure you could do like jello, like the um, strawberry jello. I'm sure you could do that, but this is pudding. And they use cheesecake, sugar free. I'm going to use the white chocolate pudding mix on it. See if it crystallizes like that. See what it tastes like once it crystallizes on it. But I've got a ton of fruit. Nobody else is going to eat that. I just really want that like, because I feel like that would be easy for me to eat with it being cold and stuff. Um, so I'm going to make that in this little bowl. And then all the other fruit that I cut up, because everybody won't eat it like that, I'll just save and put in these. I got this big old thing of bowls like this big old thing of containers with all these lids and stuff for five bucks at walmart i've had them before and i lost every single one of them so <laughs> i'll probably lose these too but as for right now i got them and i'm gonna kind of divvy up all of the um the fruit into those and then i need to really tidy up my house it's not bad it's just there's a lot of um stuff like a lot of laundry i've been working on laundry trying to get re-caught up on that because i slacked on my laundry 
I slapped on my laundry and it got piled up again. So I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to make it to where, because uh, all of my biggest pet peeve about our, my biggest pet peeve regarding organization, because you guys know I'm trying to get organized. I'm on the road to getting organized. My biggest issue with not being organized is our clothes. I feel like they're everywhere. There's no designated spot for it. It kind of just gets thrown everywhere. And a lot of that is because I don't put the clothes away. I had the kids put their clothes away, and they always put it in the wrong spots. So I really want to go through my clothes in my, I'm going to film a video. I'm not going to add it in here. I'm going to film a separate video, like clothes organization, and I'm going to go through our clothes, and I'm just going to organize every bit of it. That way we know where everything is, because we have so many clothes. I get comments all the time, like, you have too many clothes. We do have a lot of clothes, um, but I'm not a minimalist. I'm not getting rid of any unless, like, we, like, there's no, like, we, we rotate those clothes. My kids rotate those clothes, so I'm not getting rid of any unless it doesn't fit or like it, it's no longer wearable. And we usually wear things until the thread loosens. I mean, like we wear the the far out of stuff. I feel like it would be way easier for me to keep all the clothes clean if I like organize it all. You know what I mean? Because now they're just kind of everywhere. Like I don't even know where half the girl's shorts are, and they have like 14 pairs of shorts. So I think I know where two pairs are, and that's the pairs that are on them right now. <laughs> So, I'm going to just get that done. I want to get that done this week. There will probably only be two videos up this week. Probably this video and then my porch makeover. Because I don't see me getting anything else done. I'm going to try really hard to get three videos up for you guys. Because I know you guys are dependent on them. <coughs> I know you guys depend on that and you enjoy that. And it gets you through your day. And I'm humbled by that. I don't want to let y'all down. Y'all are very important to me. Um, and I see this as my job. Like, I, I would take a couple days off my job, but I wouldn't call in a whole week uh, just because I'm not feeling hot. And I take you guys as serious as I would my job. <clears throat> Even more so serious because you guys are my friends, not my, not my co-workers or employees or anything like that. So, <clears throat> or customers or anything like that. Like, y'all are my friends. So, I take it seriously and I want to get it done for y'all. <clears throat> we can do it in Jesus' name. So, I got some cherries. I got some grapes, I got some honeydew, I got some cantaloupe, oh, I got some oranges, and I got some apples. Let's get to cutting up this produce. I've never cut one of these. I like, I like honeydew, I just never cut one, so I don't know how to cut it. Check this out. This is what it was supposed to do yesterday, but I prayed that Jesus would let it hold off. Can y'all see? It is storming, downpouring. I was able to get the whole entire, well, me and Shane, not just me. He helped so much. I was able to get, we, we were able to get all the porch painted yesterday when it was supposed to, it was 80%, I think, 60 or 80% precipitation, storms all day long. It didn't. Cause I prayed. I was like, Jesus, y'all, a lot of people laugh at me for praying over stuff like that. My tripod's broken. A lot of people laugh at me for praying over stuff like that, but y'all haven't been there, man. Whenever I prayed for my car to start and it started and I prayed for my, my refrigerator, Yay! it started working. Somebody asked me the other day if I had prayed for my, uh, prayed for my, um, dryer and I haven't yet but I will say I did pray for my dishwasher and it ain't started working yet 
So it's not a genie in a bottle, but he cares about the desires of your heart. He cares about what you care about. Um, I've prayed for my lights to come back on, and they came back on with no explanation. So, And sometimes, if he doesn't answer prayers, because he's not always, every prayer you're, you're going to pray, it isn't going to get answered. Um, not every single prayer. But I will say this, if he doesn't answer it, it's because he has a reason for it. If he hadn't answered yesterday's prayer, then I could have rest assured knowing that whatever I needed, whatever my destiny was for that day, needed to be inside the house. Maybe there was a lesson I needed to learn that I could only learn from being inside the home. Maybe there was a lesson my kids I needed to teach them. There was a conversation that needed to be had um, that would influence their future or influence a decision. You, you just never know. Maybe if it was raining yesterday and I really wanted to go outside and, and it didn't, maybe it would have worsened Shane's sunburn. It's getting better. Maybe it would have took him a few steps back. There's always a reason as to why prayers go unanswered, but there's never a prayer, a prayer from a believer that goes unheard. It may go unanswered, but it never goes unheard. And even when we think it goes unanswered, it's really not. There's an answer. It's just not the one we wanted. This is what we're working with. Mm. I don't know how much they said you need to put on there. I think she did a whole packet. I'm not going to do a whole packet. and put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So it's a couple hours later and I've been tapped out on the couch. Um, thank, thank you Jesus for Colton because he's been holding down the fort. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, this stuff has been in here in the fridge for about two hours. This is what it looks like. You can tell it has like a crystallized layer on it, which that's what she said makes it super good. Can you see it? Um, she said that's what makes it super good. But I'm thinking, now that I'm like thinking about it, she put the cheesecake kind. I put the white chocolate kind. But I almost bet you it's not going to be as good as it would be if I had used like red. There's a massive flaw. It's not going to be as good as if I had used like red jello, like actual jello mix. I don't know, just something about the white chocolate on, or the cheesecake on, or vanilla or chocolate on fruit just doesn't sit right with me like I would want something fruitier but let's see it's not bad it's edible not something I would just do they said it was good for like camping I could see you taking this like to the beach um taking it let's see let's find an orange taking it to like to baseball games to kind of cool you down, you know, picnics in the summer. Not on the orange. Last thing I had to try is cherry. Now these cherries do have the seeds in them. I took the stems off because I'm the only one that's going to be eating this. But if you make this and you get the cherries with the, with the seeds in them, leave the stems on so people know that there's a seed in it. But... If I do this again, it'll definitely, um, I'll try it with jello, actual jello mix next time for the crystallized effect. 
um, pudding ain't doing it for me. I gotta get up to make dinner. But until then, I'm gonna sit here and eat this and pretend I like it. Never mind that. Shane just called and he's a few minutes away from home, so I need to start on dinner. I'm just gonna pick the easiest thing that I have on my meal plan and, um, do that. <laughs> when times like this happen, I just remember to do everything as I would do it unto the Lord. And I would make the Lord the best sandwich <clears throat> I could possibly make. Just like I want to make Shane the best sandwich I could possibly make. Just got to keep going. I do it in Jesus' name. I didn't want to get off the couch just now. I said, in Jesus' name, I'm going to get off the couch. I got off the couch. A lot of people are like, you need to sit down, you need to you need to chill out. And that is true, you do need to rest and stuff. But my personality type, I can't. I never have been able to. I think that's what contributed a lot to me being a workaholic whenever I was a not so good person. Just work all the time, all the time. Now, I just focus my energy into things that deserve it. Not work, 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 work for money, 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 money. But work, 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 work for God, for my family, for my children, for my husband, <coughs> for y'all. Um, you guys are important to me. You're family to me. I really mean that. So I'm doing this, filming this when I don't feel good, making dinner when I don't feel good, um, as I'm doing it unto the Lord. That's how I look at it. The easiest thing on my meal plan was like these knockoff Subway subs. I just got the Italian herb bread from the Walmart market area. And then I just put Shane's normal Subway order on it, which he gets like this pizza sub with grilled chicken, banana peppers, bell peppers, onions. Um, golly, he gets literally everything on it. He gets pepperoni. He loves extra pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, marinara sauce, um, banana peppers, shredded lettuce, uh, cut up onion, cut up bell pepper, and uh, grilled chicken. That's what he gets on his. It's massive. I wrapped it up in some tin full. I wrapped all of our subs up because the kids got pizza subs. I got a regular, my regular Subway order, which is simple. And Shane's Subway order, I wrapped them up, baked them in the oven <clears throat> for about 20 minutes um, on like 350 or something like that. And voila, it was easy. Daddy just got home. What you think? It's good. Get a good shot of this. Get a good shot? Get a good shot of this. You ready? Colin's making background music. Are you singing the macaroni thing? Yeah. For the win win. <laughs> so, I'm not going to show you what I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm not going to show you what I got for the porch, but I will show you. Look what I found. My saying. I'm known for this saying on YouTube, and I found this at Hobby Lobby. I had to grab it. Kind people are my kind of people. I say that all the time. Um, almost as much as do the daggone thing <laughs> and fiddle farting around. But I got it for, how much did I get it for? Yeah. Three forty nine. dollars Not bad. And I love it. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I'll find somewhere. Then, I'm going to be doing a bathroom makeover. Y'all know that. So, I found this for, for $2.00. And I found this <clears throat> for two dollars. I got this little R house thing. It was it was two dollars. 
And then I got this to hang up on the side of my house whenever, not, we didn't hang it up for the porch makeover because we ran out of time. Yee. But I got that and the floral inside of it. We just got the porch makeover done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's not completely done, but it's done enough to where I felt comfortable posting it. I still have a little few things to add to it. Still got to touch up the paint in a lot of areas. The white has to be, uh, a second coat needs to be over the white. But I'll show you guys that every step of the way. As of right now, it's done. I probably won't touch it for another couple of weeks. <clears throat> Unless I get a walk. You guys will be seeing that video on Wednesday, tomorrow. Um, I'll probably only have two videos up this week because of this. <laughs> um, I hope you have a blessed morning, evening, or not, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you. I already said that, but I have to add it in there. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all tomorrow.